Tom. The following video contains major spoilers for Undertale. If you have not done a full genocide run, do not wish to be spoiled on that. Please come back once you have beaten it. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here, welcoming you back to, um, Under... Tale. Um... Alright, this is kinda awkward. I went on a genocide run, didn't I? Well, um... I could theoretically sell my soul to get back to gameplay, but then I'd have the issue of my, uh... I'd have the issue of the pacifist run not going so well anymore. Well, not to worry, because through this method I'm about to teach you, uh, you can actually get out of this black screen without selling your soul, and even better, actually get your soul back if you've already sold it. So, what you're gonna want to do is, first thing you're gonna want to do is exit Steam. It's a very important first step. Make sure that it's not minimized to the tray or in the taskbar or anything like that. It's completely closed. Next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to your C hard drive in the Windows Explorer. Go to Program Files 86, Steam, User Data, and then the folder of whatever your Steam ID is. Uh, depending on when you signed up for Steam, it might be a different number. Usually it's an eight digit number at this point, I believe. And from there, you're gonna wanna go into the Undertale App ID folder, which will be the folder labeled 391540, and then go into the Remote uh, folder. In there, you're gonna see one of two files in there if you've completed the Genocide Run. Either System Information 962 or System Information 963. Uh, these are the triggers that will, uh, 962 is the trigger that will make it so when you open up Undertale, your game will just be a black screen with wind. And 963 is the trigger for whenever you beat the pacifist run, it will show the alternate ending showing that you've done the genocide run in the past. So what you're gonna want to do is open that file in Notepad, and then in there, it's gonna be very complicated in there, just letting you know, just warning you, it's very complicated in there. I have not seen this much code in a long time, but you're gonna want to delete everything in that file, save, and then you can exit out of the out of notepad, and then back out from the remote folder into the 391540 folder. From there, you're going to delete remotecache.vdf. After you're done with that, let's see if you've done it right. You start up Steam, start up Undertale, and if you get a cloud sync conflict window, then you've done everything right so far. Uh, so what you gotta do next is, while keeping the Cloud Sync Conflict window open, you're gonna wanna delete everything in the 391540 folder. That's the remote folder, and that is the remote cache.vdf file. It probably should, it would've made a new one if you opened up Undertale. So now that you've done that, you're gonna wanna click on Upload to Steam Cloud in the Cloud Sync Conflict window. After that, Undertale will start running automatically. While it's running, you want to go into Steam, Right-click on the Undertale in, in the Steam window, and then open up Properties. Once you've done that, go to the Updates tab and, disable, uh, and disable uh, Steam Cloud Synchronization. After that, you're going to want to exit the game and exit out of Steam. Back out of the 391540 folder into your Steam ID folder, and then delete the 391540 folder. Now you think you're done at this point, right? That would be it. That just would be everything you need to do to get rid of the taint that has plagued your Undertale folder, or Undertale game. Not exactly, because there is still a, f a file on your computer that will still give you those triggers. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna uh, open up the start menu on the bottom, you know, on your taskbar, and then type run into the search bar. Then you're gonna wanna open up the run program and then type in percent sign, app data, percent sign. Once you're in app data, app, app data, excuse me, you're gonna notice that you're in the roaming folder for app data. So you're gonna wanna back out of the roaming folder into the app data fo folder, and then you're gonna, from there you're gonna wanna open up the local folder. Scroll down until you hit the Undertale folder, and then inside there you'll see system information uh, 962 or 963 again. Now this step is a lot simpler than the other one, because all you have to do this time is delete system information 962 or 963. Uh, once you're done with that, that's all you gotta do. From there, you can uh, safely re-enable Cloud Sync on Undertale. Um, but once you open up Undertale, you'll have your soul back. Uh, everything will be back to normal. You can play through the game normally, and there will be no strings attached. Happy gaming!